Hello and welcome to this GP feature overview for Microsoft Dynamics GP grant management. I am Devin Southall from Software Solutions Group, a Microsoft Dynamics GP partner in Western New York. Today I'm going to talk about grant management. Now grant management is a module within Microsoft Dynamics GP that is nested on top of analytical counting. That is a required module and analytical counting really provides the workhorse behind the grant management. So here we are in Microsoft Dynamics GP. I'm in uh, GP 2013 Service Pack 2, but grant management hasn't fundamentally changed. So here we are. I'm going to look at the setup screen. So here I have set up grant management. I have activated it. I can have some list fields, some text fields, some date fields, and numeric fields that I'm going to label and now have those available on the grant maintenance screen. And here I have set up a dimension. So I have said by default any grants I create are going to be in the analytical accounting dimension of grant. And so that's what I set up in analytical accounting. Now from there, under Financial Cards, if I scroll down, I can see Grant Management. And here's Grant Maintenance. So on the Grant Maintenance screen, these are the user-defined fields I saw before. I can set up my grant ID and my description, and I can put some dates on it. The date validation is always in grant management. It will not allow you to post transactions outside of this date range. You can also activate additional validations, which we'll look at in just a minute. And we have statuses. So I have particular statuses set up. These you have to set up yourself. Um, and each of your statuses you can prevent creation of the grant dimension. So maybe you have a pre-grant status and there aren't actual analytical dimensions set up just in case they're not going to be used. Or we can have sort of a post or a hold status or a close status where transactions are no longer allowed to be entered or posted to it. Um, we can have grant types to allow you to categorize your grants. And here is the tie to analytical. So in analytical, this is the grant and this is our dimension code. I like to make these two the same, but they don't necessarily have to. Looking at the validation options, here we are in validation options. There's two different types. We can tie it to an analytical accounting budget or we can tie it to total grant profit and loss. Now this is actually by the posting types within the GL account. So if you're going to use this, you're going to want to dig into it a little deeper so you know exactly how it works. This is using your analytical accounting budgets. Now one note, analytical accounting budgets are not available in Management Reporter, but there are wizards and inquiry windows within GP that allows you to compare budget to actual on these budgets. Um, let me show you the budget IDs real quick. Um, just so that you're aware of how those work. So if I go into cards and go into analytical accounting, here is my budget and let me pull up a particular budget. So here is the budget that I set up for this particular grant code and here I can now budget per GL account per period what I expect and then that validation will happen off that if you require that level of detail in your validation. So let me briefly talk about how analytical accounting works. If you are interested, you're going to want to watch our video Why Analytical Accounting, which goes into greater detail. But under analytical accounting, we set up class IDs. So I have a class called grant where the grant dimension is required. And this is another analytical, analytical accounting dimension IT, which is not allowed on these particular. So now if I go to the accounting class link for my grant class, and I look at my linked account, these GL accounts now are required to have the grant class entered against them before you can post any transactions. So that's sort of where um, analytical accounting is flagged and how it functions. So let's see that in process. So here I am in payables transaction entry. I have entered a GL account that is flagged for the grant dimension and so when I tab off of it the analytical accounting screen is going to pop up or I also can hit the analytical accounting tab right here. Now it says that I need to enter the grant dimension. So I can enter the whole amount or I can break up the amount. So I'm going to put half to one grant. 
Now, I instantly hit my validation. It's not between the start and the end date, so it's not going to allow me to even select this code. If I wanted to put in another code, I would put 250 on the second line and enter the figure in there. When I hit save, it's going to finish any validation like my budget validation and the like. So here in Management Reporter you can see that I've set up a tree that has my grant values on it and I can run reports against this. I also can have in my row definition I can specify specific grant values and have it appear in the rows. Again, if you're interested, you'll want to watch our video Why Analytical Counting to see greater detail on how analytical counting is available in reporting, several wizards, smart lists, and other information. That will give you greater detail on how grant management works since it uses analytical counting as its core. Thank you for watching our video. Take care.